So chimpanzees have uh, a really complex social system. And there's some chimps that are very high ranking, some chimps that are low ranking, some chimps that just don't care about the politics of the group at all. And it all fuses together in a very good working social system. And so um, the chimp that's in charge, uh, we call the alpha. And in the wild, that's, that's always a male chimp, so we call them the alpha male. Uh, however, in captivity uh, and some of these artificial social groups, um, some captive environments have seen alpha females and, and females that, that are really kind of in charge of the group. Um, now, who decides who's alpha? Well, sometimes uh, a chimp may be really strong and really wild and loud, uh, but still not be alpha. That's because the other chimps really have to decide. It's almost like you have to be elected. Um, if you can garner an alliance to be revered as the alpha, that's what makes you alpha. So sometimes you see small chimps as alphas, you see big chimps as alphas, um, and, and it all just depends on the dynamics of that community. And that's one of the things that makes it so interesting is to figure out who's becoming the alpha and who's low ranking. Oftentimes you can tell by who's being groomed. And when we watch our chimps here, uh, we pay special attention to who's grooming who, uh, because that's how you can tell the alliance. You can tell the alliance when you've got two chimps grooming each other, that they're sending a message to each other, we're on board, we're on the same team. And when that happens, then you know an alliance has happened. And if, uh, if a chimp that wants to be alpha uh, garners enough of an alliance, uh, he'll then take over or in captive, she. There's different examples of alpha males, and, and we, we certainly have a variety of, of chimps that, that are alphas here that uh, have very different styles. Um, for example, we have a chimp at, at Rufus named, named Jiro, and we call Jiro the alpha male, and he is, and, and chimps really kind of defer to him, but it doesn't seem like he really cares that much about it. So right now we've got a younger male named Leo and he's just a teenager and Leo really wants power. So Leo's been aligning with the other members of the group and they're starting to defer more to him. And, and as that happens, we're watching Jiro to see if he really cares, if he wants to really kind of defend his, his status. And so far, he really doesn't. He really doesn't care. And it seems like he's happy to let Leo take over. Now we have other chimps that uh, really kind of rule with an iron fist. So at Doug's building, we have a chimp named JB. And JB rules kind of a, with, with an iron fist. He's, he's very much in charge. Uh, he's loud. If you get out of line, he might smack you. Um, and, and he actually rules a lot like his dad did. So his dad, who's still in the group, used to be the alpha of that group. And his dad is Garfield, one of the original Air Force chimps that came over. Well, Garfield's gotten older, and Garfield um, didn't really care to stay alpha. And so his son, JB, really took over that group and rules it much the same way his dad uh, did. And uh, you, you're not allowed to get out of line at that group, a very, very Air Force style group.